Look at this. There are 4,152 subscribers in my trading group and we're killing it. I got a few shout outs to give on my trading group. This person stated, signed up for VIP elite, took your suggestion. I doubled my money in less than a week. This person, I'm up $58,000 in 10 days. Chris, thanks a lot for everything. I'm three or four months in the group. I've turned $4,000 into 65 grand. 65 G's out of 4,000. It's more than 10 X, he more than 10 X his money in the group. This person, I'm up $10,000 in the last week. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where he's calling out breakouts, posts and charts, working together to trade this market. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading at all, nothing, you can watch these videos. You'll be making profitable trades. Number one reason why people join my trading group is I post profitable trading setups every single day and we've been killing it. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months in crypto, you get a 20% discount. You pay for the year in crypto, you get an additional month for free and a 30% discount. If you do want to pay with a card month to month on a monthly basis, you can do so. There's a Patreon link that's in the description. I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto daily. Before we jump into this video, I want to ask you guys to smash the like button for me, subscribe to the channel, jump in right into the market today in crypto, Bitcoin. Remember, I'm giving away $500 in Bitcoin tomorrow. All you have to do for a chance to win, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Boom, free money. Bitcoin is a daily chart. So remember, you got your 50 simple moving average coming in here. So when this crosses your 200, your yellow simple moving average, that'll give you a death cross. Okay. You've seen Bitcoin downside continue if that uh, gets confirmed. Um, previously, there was a bearish cross of the 21 and the 200. You had a strong bearish rejection of the $39,500 level. So Bitcoin printed a pretty a large candle. There's some Elon news. We're going to talk about that in just a second. Kind of he times his, uh, he times his tweets pretty amazing as far as how they drop the market. So anyways, this is the, the stochastic RSI is overbought and you've got a bearish cross. And so if this moves to the downside, we could see a test of these range lows down here. Okay. I mean, Bitcoin's just ranging. This is not a super exciting time. It's not home run season right now, right? I mean, we, we need a break above 40,000 for more upside, you know, 44,000, 48,000 become ideas when Bitcoin bulls are able to break 40,000. Um, the break to the downside, you know, when you start to break these levels and, and there's, you know, 27,000 in the card for Bitcoin. This is the Bitcoin four hour chart. Bitcoin continues to fail to break above 40,000. Right. Things will look a lot better when the bulls are able to do this. Now, this critical trend line that's been respected one, two, three, four, now five times, like this is critical that the bulls put in a bounce here. If not, you're going to see continuation to the downside. Levels like 34,000, 33,000, you know, 32, 31,000. It's just level by level. Okay. You've got a bearish MACD cross down here. Okay, so let's look at what happened the last bearish MACD cross. I mean, potentially right in this area. Okay, so you did get some downside continuation based on that idea. If you if we test the range lows, you know this. There's a, there's a ton of buyers that have been down here. You look at these huge wicks, right? And so part of ranging is you, you're just moving back and forth from the low to the high. After a big pullback out of Bitcoin, this is really common to see uh, essentially like a large bear pennant or bear flag okay and so it's up to the bulls to to show up here you you have to say hey bitcoin you just 50 percent dump you, you got to show us something different right you got to show us something different so i mean the bulls have to start putting in some bullish ideas in order to to you know look for upside continuation so first that starts with a bounce here and then you'd want to see a break above about 39,000, 40,000, really like 42,000. Things start to look better for the bulls. This is the lower term time frames. And so, you know, we were looking for this bounce here, got this bounce up here. Elon tweeted, really, you got a double top on the 
Bitcoin price action. Now the RSI is close to oversold down here. And so this rising wedge, which we talked about, I mean, there's 68% chance this breaks to the downside. I mean, it looks like it's still holding, but again, Bitcoin's sitting right here. And, you know, it's just all up to the bull. Can they hold this level? Are there enough buyers? Do enough people think the value of Bitcoin right now? Are they getting a good deal at 36,000? And we're going to talk about this more in just a second. I've got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. This part of the state, I want to thank you for everything you do for us today. The, he was up 29,000 euros in 24 hours, he stated, which is he was in the Theta, T Fuel, Dot, and Cake setups. So again, killing it in the trading group. Like you, you have to be in the right coins. This person sold 25% of his theta for 25% profit. Remember, we've got a theta midterm hold I've talked to you guys about. There's a ton of theta news. Theta mainnet's at the end of the month, so that's another coin you want to watch. This person, you know, you have a big 50% pullback. Everybody took losses. This person has almost recovered all my capital and prior profits. Huge recovery and that's what this is about things crazy things happen in crypto and you have to have a plan in place this is the biggest financial opportunity of our lifetime part of making money in this market is is riding these uptrends but also you got to manage risk and know when to take profits you stop losses i can help you i can make you a successful trader i want to make sure you're in the best and most profitable trading setups daily if you want to join the trading group go to my website cryptorev.net if you pay with crypto for six months or 12 months right now, it's 50% off. This is some of the news right now in crypto. Crypto exchange FTX, they launched as a NFT marketplace similar to what Binance is doing on the 24th. And so NFTs may see some type of positive price action based on this idea. Paxful, they launched an e-commerce tool to let businesses receive Bitcoin payments. Chinese government, they said that people have the freedom to trade Bitcoin. Let's see how far this plays out. Norton 360 antivirus will now let you mine Ethereum cryptocurrency. Elon Musk infamous tweet. He gave the Bitcoin heartbreak and he said to her, I know I said it would be over between us if you quoted another Linkin Park song, but I found someone else. Him. So in the end, did it even matter? And so Elon Musk tweets again and bitcoin pulls back so a lot of people in crypto twitter are, are really ticked off at elon musk and youtube as well so this is steve will do it so he's a pretty popular youtuber he's got almost 3.3 million subscribers he makes nine hours ago he made this video i'm going to war with elon musk like elon so steve will do it gives away teslas like all the time right and so now he's like he's going to war obviously uh, Elon Musk, the creator of the CEO of Tesla. And yeah, it's just, it's amazing to see. I think the positive is like this guy, he's got 3.3 million subscribers and he's, he's logoed out with Bitcoin, Bitcoin all over. Like this wouldn't happen two years ago, right? All these YouTubers that, that I've been watching that have nothing to do with necessarily Bitcoin. All there, everybody's talking about Bitcoin right now. Everybody's talking about why they're buying Bitcoin while they're selling right now while they're selling Bitcoin, potentially, there's a lot more awareness about Bitcoin. I mean, you start, think about it. You go out in public and you start talking to people about Ethereum. They, they just don't really even know about crypto, really, right? They, they heard of it. They kind of understand it, but they don't, right? And so, I mean, just understand that the price of Bitcoin, regardless, like we're moving toward mainstream adoption is happening more and more every single day. The I mean, since Bitcoin was at 65,000 and where Bitcoin's at now, like the fundamentals has, haven't changed, right? Bitcoin at some point will rebound. So real quick, this is the HODL waves chart. So this shows that 11.5% of the Bitcoin supply hasn't moved for 10 years. Potentially it could be lost or dead in the terms, in network terms, because it just hasn't moved. Imagine just how much Bitcoin's lost out there. Here's everybody, $64,000 Bitcoin. Everybody's lining up. Everybody wants Bitcoin. It's the best thing in the world when it's 64,000. But boy, Bitcoin's 35,000 and nobody wants it, right? I want to talk to you real quick. So Tron, Justin's son, is, I mean, it's kind of hit or miss. But one thing he's talking about with his new son redenomination upgrade plan is he wants to realize son's self-governance and then 
potentially he has these ideas on how, what he's going to do to improve Sun. And so when this happens, like this is an idea for a uh, coin to buy on Bitcoin pullbacks because they've, they've got a lot of ideas that they're trying to put in place. That, I mean, this is a really small coin, right? And so they said, hey, this is going to re help restore Sun's true value. It's gonna, Sun is going to witness a strong price momentum after listing on a large number of exchanges. Then they've got Sun IO. It's going to be a critical go-to platform. It's going to mint. Uh, they're going to use it to mint stable coins. Sun's market cap, he's saying, is severely underestimated. Sun is going to offer long-term mining rewards worth five billion tokens. Basically, just talking about all these ideas to increase the value of Sun. And and, and the most important one is this re-denomination plan. And I want to show you what it did to Pundi X. And so this is old news. Um, this was announced. So Pundi X, they announced his redenomination plan on March the 19th, right? And so you hear all this news just in general in crypto and you, and you want to quantify it and see how it affected the price of the cryptos. And, and it depends on the market, obviously. When the market's more bullish, you're, you're going to, any little bit of news is going to move the price. But things, I mean, potentially were, were different here, but you, you can see that that after the Twitter announcement, you had a pretty decent size run up as far as the price goes. I mean, over a one, possibly even two X gains out of this is again, Pundi X. So this is something that you have to consider when you're looking at Sun's chart. And so Sun USCT on the 12 hour, remember Sun's on KuCoin and Binance. And so I definitely highly recommend both those exchanges. There's links in the description. You can make an account. Um, trade a lot of these smaller coins. But again, at, at one point it was trying to retest the breakout. This is a 12 hour chart. It's trying to retest the breakout of this trend line, you know? So if this can hold possibly looking for upside, but even the the best setups in the world are still at Bitcoin's mercy, right? Bitcoin pulls back, like the, these altcoin setups aren't gonna play out. So then after this, I mean, so essentially you got this like falling wedge bull pennant, it was breaking out. We were looking for the retest. This person got 13% off the trade real quick. Ethereum, we talked about this yesterday, this exact idea, this pullback to here um, as being potential entry idea, but I mean, you need this to hold. So you need a reversal uh, on the Bitcoin chart. So you're watching Bitcoin while you're watching Ethereum and, and, and you know Bitcoin needs a bounce here and that will give Ethereum a bounce. And then if 2,900 is broken, you're looking for upside continuation to these targets. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.